For this project, I used a decoupage print that I got in a multi-pack from Amazon. These little tear shelves I got from Dollar Tree. This grapevine basket I got back in the floral department at Hobby Lobby. And while I was there, I picked up just some neutral fabric, uh, just a small amount for the front of the basket. When I was back in the fabric department, I decided that I might go ahead and grab some. It's called Heat Bond, and I did the Ultra Hold, as you can see here, for the front of the basket to hold the material. I also picked up some Folk Art Wicker White paint. And I always use, and I love, the Distress Ink in Walnut Stains. So I already had that on hand, but you can get that at Hobby Lobby. Also picked up some jute um, in various sizes, the smaller size jute, and, and then at the hardware store, I picked up a roll of the thicker jute for the bow that I used on the basket. So I definitely watch sales at Hobby Lobby, so when they were 40% off, I picked up two lavender stems. I'll be sure to add the item numbers in the comments below for the florals that I used today. In addition to the lavender stems, I did go ahead and pick up a nice filler greenery for the basket as well. So you guys, let's get started on this fun craft. So I took the basket and you can see that I took the fabric and placed it on the front and cut a piece off about the size that I thought would work for the front. Once that piece was cut out, I went ahead and just pulled and frayed the edges of the fabric because I do like a little rustic. As you can see here, I wanted to make sure that the little shelves that I'm using were going to fit nicely on the front of the basket, kind of placed in the center of the fabric. Next, I set the fabric aside and it's time to work on my little decoupage print. For this project, I did only use one board and um, I went ahead and got my folk art paint in the wicker white and went ahead and just lightly covered mainly the edges of the board and the project. These boards have four holes on them. I wanted to make sure that I covered up with my print, the two bottom holes. So you'll see that uh, once I was dry with the paint, I went ahead and when I was Mod Podging, I was very careful to make sure that that lower print covered those two bottom holes. When Mod Podging, I just used a foam brush and applied to just the front of the board very lightly. Once I had worked the wrinkles out with my hands, I did use the air gun and make sure the project was completely dry before starting to distress. What you can do also is make sure that you apply an extra layer of Mod Podge and re-dry the project again just to make sure you have a good hold. I then took the Distress Ink in Walnut Stain and went around the edges. I applied it pretty liberally around the edges and um, I really like the effect that it had on blending in with those edges of that decoupage project. I did it on the sides, the front, just basically all over the project. Next is time to embellish the basket. So I had to turn on my hot glue gun there and um, then I took the smaller jute and you can see where I'm pulling it through and I'm applying several knots to the front of the uh, front of the project. I just like how that little knotted look looks so you can see um, and I'm trying to measure out kind of where it will hang within the uh, middle of the basket so just gauging with my hands and with my eye on where the placement should be. I then took the hot glue and I thought well I thought it would just really glue nicely on the front of the basket but I was not happy with the whole adhesion of that so what I did was I then took the heat bond 
and um, strips of the heat bond. You can see there I cut off strips and put between the fabric and the basket and went ahead and just really steamed those in and it really did give the basket a nice hold. So don't just use hot glue. I mean, it may stick for you, but it didn't for me. One thing I wanted to show you with this basket is you can turn over this and make a reversible sign. So what I'm gonna be doing is probably doing an Americana um, flag for the other side once I'm done with the spring bunny on this basket. So just turn your, your wood over and make another cute little decoupage project. So for this, what I did was I took a piece of wire and put it on the interior of that basket and made kind of a hook and hooked that little piece of jute inside of that basket. Next, what I did was I went ahead and took my greenery and basically took it down to several workable pieces so I can place them in my basket. And uh, as you can see here, just using my wire cutters and uh, getting that <laughs> getting that all in place. I really love how that looks, don't you guys? I put the bigger greenery in the back, the, the not the lavender stems, but the others. You could use foam inside. I want. To, I didn't want to make this a very very permanent basket because I want to reuse it for the different seasons. And it's as easy as this, guys. I just placed the lavender stems in front of the other greenery pieces. And I really, really like how this turned out. I wanted to, I've, I guess I felt like it just needed some sort of bow. So what I did was I took the really thicker type of jute and made two, you know, two pieces of jute and made just a thicker bow, just very simple but I think it actually looks kind of elegant. So loved how it turned out. Went ahead and just wired that bow into place because I didn't want to make anything real permanent. And that way I can really make this basket interchangeable for the different seasons. So you guys, this is it. This is the project. It's actually very simple. And most, the pro most of the products I got at Hobby Lobby, but a few things like the little wooden uh, tiered planks that I used I got from Dollar Tree. Thanks for watching guys and happy crafting.